Hey, so what is up everyone? We have finally arrived once again here at the Expo City Dubai. It's been one month since the last video was posted. Yeah, we came back actually to check what's going on and what's the latest here at Expo City. If you can remember from our previous videos, from day one of Expo 2020 Dubai, we are here. Day one of the opening or the reopening of Expo City, we were also here. I mean, when they lit up the Al Wasl Dome once again and the world witnessed its magical, magical projection. So from Al Wasl Plaza, I'm gonna take you to the Mobility District where one of the pavilions, one of the main pavilions is already open. It's the Alif or the Mobility Pavilion. Last time in the previous video posted last month, we went all around the sustainability district wherein you saw the exteriors of Terra, the sustainability pavilion. And this time I'm gonna walk you around Alif. Let's see what's going on around the mobility pavilion. Alright, so walking along Alwasal Plaza, behind me you can see the UAE pavilion, it's still closed. Right, all country pavilions are still closed as of the moment. The only open pavilions are the Terra, the sustainability pavilion, the Alif, that's what I've mentioned earlier, where we are heading to right now is also open, the women's pavilion and the vision pavilion. Oh my god, this will be a very long walk. We have here the official mascots of Expo 2020 Dubai. Look at them. Oh, so cute. You're looking at now to the previous country pavilion of Peru. It's being dismantled. Next to Peru, we have Angola. I remember there's a cafe right here before. Now you can see the pavilion of Russia. It's very unique. And some more glimpse of the Angola pavilion. So there you go, a very quiet street. Next to Russia, we can now see the country pavilion of Turkmenistan. A beautifully lighted pavilion before with the iconic horses at the entrance. And look at those details. I never noticed this before. But it's really awesome. Heading to the mobility pavilion. We are almost near. And look at these small country pavilions before. This will be converted into office spaces, office and commercial spaces. That's Finland Pavilion, the white pavilion, <laughs> the white facade and a unique entrance. That's Finland, followed by Oman. It's covered, I guess it's being dismantled or renovated. Next to Oman, that's Denmark. Uh, there you go. The unique roof structure of Australia. And then to our left is 
the Alif or the Mobility Pavilion. That's it. That is open, but now it comes with a fee. It costs you 50 dirhams to enter the pavilion. It's like they converted it into a museum now. So those who came to visit Expo 2020 Dubai before you guys are so lucky when this pavilion is still free. Now it comes with a price. <laughs> Anyway, entering Expo before is never, never free as well. Look at those exteriors. By the way, if you will visit Expo City, these stuffs are for rent. Yes. So you can cycle around, scooter around the area and enjoy the view and reminisce the beautiful memories you had here at Expo 2020 in Dubai. All right, so what's next? You know, Dubai didn't just created this whole massive area twice the size of Monaco, just purely for entertainment because now it's being converted into a city, a sustainable city. And there are 123 buildings here, 123 LEED certified buildings, which means they are highly sustainable. Wow, a perfect example to the world, which means it's cost saving, highly efficient, and yes, environment friendly. Now, as of the moment, if you want to, to have your own establishment based here at Expo City, just log on to www.expocitydubai.com and click on business. All right, so in this area before, we have the pavilions of Chile, Iran, France, Thailand, and Belgium. We also have Poland, Hungary, Ireland, and South Korea. Let's see which which went out and which pavilions remain. These are all empty now. Iran left, Chile left, France and Thailand. I can still see Belgium. It's actually 5.30 p.m. now and it's getting darker. Sound of construction equipment dismantling all the pavilions that will leave Expo City Dubai forever. All right, I can see Poland Pavilion just beside Belgium. So it still remains. Look at those structures. It was never meant to be built temporarily. So for sure, Belgium will stay. Poland is still beautifully lit up which means they will stay. So apart from the pavilions, this merry go round is open as well to entertain your kids. Continuing with our tour, this is the place for the South Korea pavilion. What a very beautiful pavilion, one of my favorite actually. I love the interiors, I love the entertainment. I love Korean hospitality even. And the massive queue just to enter the pavilion starts here. Damn, imagine. 
they're quite popular everyone is expecting for bts to perform yeah they do have something like it now this road will head us to hungary and ireland pavilion there you go that's hungary with a brown exterior this is the garden in the sky that's fully operational as well if you want to go up and see what it looks like or what expo city looks like from above so this is the surreal waterfall feature And now we are entering the Jubilee District, heading to the Jubilee Park, the Jubilee Plaza, where massive, massive, massive concerts are held almost every night. They remove Kuwait Pavilion right here. The Women's Pavilion is right across that area. And you can see Venezuela Pavilion, yes, they will remain. And Portugal Pavilion as well will remain. You can see from our right, it's the Jubilee Park. Wow, the massive stage is still here. This is an iconic spot, really. This is always full pack of spectators especially during massive concerts like with Christina Aguilera who else? name it drop it down in the comment section down below a lot a lot a lot of big artists perform here and ladies and gentlemen you can see the garden in the sky yeah that's how it works I made a video about it as well before there you go so it will take you all the way up and will give you a full 360 degrees view of the whole Expo City Dubai. Awesome, right? All right. This is supposed to be Canada Pavilion before. Canada left. And Philippines is here as well. I heard Philippines will remain, but I think there dismantling the pavilion now and that is Portugal and so I think that's it thank you once again for coming along with me and explore Expo City Dubai on the night time <laughs> it's quiet I know but yeah I, I, I'm enjoying the view I'm enjoying what it looks like now even it's so different from what it is before during the peak of Expo 2020. So guys, if you like this video, please click the like button and please don't forget to subscribe. Till here, see you again next time. Cheers. Bye-bye.